Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, At Home with Morgan. Today we are doing a clean and declutter with me. I needed to just get the house clean and decluttered before I really dug deep into the spring cleaning series. So if you need all of the cleaning and decluttering inspiration and motivation, then just stay tuned. All right, you guys, hopping right into the video. Today, we're starting out with a very messy laundry organization part of the video. So I decided to pick up some of these detergent dispensers. They're technically drink dispensers. I found them at Hobby Lobby for like $15.99 each. This is the cheapest that I have found them anywhere. Now, I'm doing a really weird thing here in the beginning where I'm mixing my fabric softener. I do have the April Fresh in there, and I mixed it with the Downy Calm. Oh my gosh, I was not anticipating on how amazing it was going to smell. I've never mixed fabric softeners before, but it's so clean, but yet warm. Um, and then for my detergent, I just use the Free and Clear. I usually get the Kirkland brand. Um, it works really, really well if I need additional stain fighting. I just add borax to the load of laundry that I'm doing. Now these apothecary jars that I'm keeping my powder in, I found at Walmart for so cheap. Again, I was trying to bargain hunt for these laundry organization containers. Um, the dispensers are from Hobby Lobby and then these apothecary jars are from Walmart. Now I did break one of the lids on the way in, which is just like a totally typical Morgan move. Um, so the borax doesn't have a fit on it right now, but I put my scent beads into one and then I put my powdered Tide in the one gallon and then I believe it was a three quarter gallon for my beads and my borax and it worked out perfectly. I made a huge mess as you guys can see here and I put everything on the shelf in the laundry room to start out with but it made me nervous because I wasn't sure how much that shelf was going to hold. My husband came home later and assured me that the shelf will be able to hold at least the apothecary jars. I was just nervous. So I took the detergent and the softener and put them on the main laundry counter. And as you guys can see here in the background a little, there is a patch on the wall. It looks a little bit goofy and that is because I had to um, rip a hole out in order to replace the shower faucet in my bathroom. So anyways, Another video coming on the laundry room later and a new wallpaper that we will be putting up to kind of disguise that. Now, the next part of the video here, I am doing some organization, more in the snack drawer. If you guys missed my snack drawer haul and organization, I'll leave it linked right here for you because that one was so much fun to film for you guys. I had a ton of fun with it. Now, I got a lot of snacks this time. I typically wouldn't for the kids just to like really give them a treat and it was so much fun. I was trying to do like the ultimate snack drawer, something that I would have loved as a kid. So here I'm doing more so like keto snacks so my husband and I try to stay sugar-free slash keto. My husband more so does like a paleo diet. So I just have some bee sticks here. These aren't the greatest. We do prefer the little Dukes, but I couldn't find any that were individually packaged. Um, and then I'm using reusable Ziplocs and putting almonds and pistachios in there, some Skinny Pop. And then I have these um, little chocolate snaps that are keto as well. And I love them. They're so good. If you like a dark chocolate, those are so good. And I got that at Costco. So just doing some more organization in this drawer and I am so obsessed with how this is looking. It's just like, it's so pleasing to look at and has all these yummy snacks. Even though I can't have mostly like anything in there besides like the nuts and like the chocolate bars, but that's okay. All right, so hopping into the next part, I left this in for a reason. Look at my sink, you guys. This is after only a day and a half of not doing the dishes. When I like sit down and edit my videos and get back to emails, my dishes go on the back burner and they just pile up. So anyways, I was organizing out my uh, masks in that part of the video, I ordered a bunch of masks from Amazon. And here I am putting my dish packs into um, these containers that I found at Walmart. These are so affordable, you guys. I think they were like, four or five dollars each and i'm putting my glade plugins my favorite recently has been the citrus and shine um and you guys see i also have my like wallflower plugins in there too i switch back and forth between glade and um the wallflower plugins but definitely saved me so much more space under the sink I'm trying to show you guys here the big and bulky dishwasher pack thing versus the um, little containers and the other one fit 
perfectly upstairs in my shelving. If you haven't seen my organization video, I'll have that linked here for you. And here you'll see me throwing a little bit of a tantrum. I'm having a hard time. I didn't want to do these dishes. There's garbage left over from the organization. Kaya's doing crafts. It just was, this was insanity. And this is like real life, real life. I can't get the cheese balls to go into these reusable Ziploc bags. I was really struggling, but I made it through. Also want to make the comment that I do recycle. Everything that's recyclable, I do toss into recycling. We have a recycle bin outside. So our dishwasher pack uh, bin, I did recycle that. And then same with the cheese balls bin, everything like that we do recycle. So um, I'm just kind of organizing out the cereal and bread cupboard, and then I'm about to hop into some dishes here in a minute, but do you guys have like a number one chore that is just your least favorite? Leave it in the comments down below. Mine is definitely laundry and dishes. I'm terrible at them. I do the dishes usually every morning, but if it's on an editing day, I do procrastinate and I put it off because I don't want anything to do with it. But moving on, I am doing some organizing of my cupboards. I couldn't fit any more glasses in my cupboards. It was getting ridiculous. I have an absurd amount of coffee cups. Is this like a normal thing? I feel like I'm always gifted coffee cups and like wine glasses and things like that. So I just had this plethora of glasses and cups that we don't use unless we have guests over. So that's what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of decluttering some of those glasses, maybe moving them to the basement um, unless we've got guests over. And as you can see, it's already looking so much better, so much cleaner um, with the cups and glasses that we actually use on a day-to-day -day basis. And I did pick up the kids some more plates and bowls and cups and a couple of water bottles from Walmart when I was there to get those organizing containers. And I love them. They're like just so simple and modern and clean and cute. I highly recommend them. They're super awesome. I'm going to let you guys enjoy this part of the video and I will hop back in in just a minute.
get a lot of questions in regards to these reusable applesauce packets and if they're easy to clean yes they are so super easy to clean I use the down power wash spray and it gets into all of the cracks and the crevices inside of there and then I use a scrub brush and if I really need to get into the nozzle part I do have a mini scrub brush that I can get in there with I do hand wash all of my reusable Ziploc bags these are made out of silicone so they're super easy to rinse off get those crackers or the crumbs or whatever is on there get them out I have little hands that are using these reusable Ziploc bags all the time. So of course they're a little bit sticky. Now this is the nasty mess. Guys, my sink always looks like this after I am done doing the dishes. Just gunk and grossness gets on the bottom. So I like to give it a good deep clean. I did share this in a deep cleaning video previously, but this is how I deep clean my sink. I like to use the Dawn Power Wash just to get all of the dirt and grime and grossness off. And then after I'm done really scrubbing it, I will go in with my barkeeper's friend. I use the powdered version. And this is going to get all of the scuffs and scratches and stains out of the sink. And I use like a textured sponge, any kind of like textured sponge will do. I think my grandma got me these from Home Goods when we were shopping one time. She swore by them. She's like, these are the best sponges. I need to get you some. And she was not wrong. These sponges are awesome for cleaning my sink and I, I get into where the drain is and the garbage disposal and just really give the sink a good deep clean because all those nasty smells can come from your sink and your garbage disposal. So once I'm done deep cleaning the sink itself, I will pour a little bit of Mr. Clean into the garbage disposal itself and let it run for a little bit. And that will also just help to get rid of any bacteria that's building up and get rid of any smells that are happening down there. I swear by this method. And if I need a really good deep clean, I'm usually reaching for my Mr. Clean um, concentrated form or I'm reaching for a powder tide and bleach and water combo. Those are my go-to deep cleaning um, methods or mixes, if you will. Um, in this part of the video, Mike just got home from work and he knew I was filming and he's like grabbing snacks. It's so funny, he does help me clean quite a bit, especially when I'm editing. He's the one who's cleaning and doing the dishes and helping cook. If you guys are new here, I do own a side business where we build custom furniture and things like that. So a lot of times Mike is in the shop, but we do have an M&M Rustics channel. If you guys wanna check it out, we focus a lot on home renovations and DIYs and things like that. Going to be picking up those videos a lot here in the upcoming weeks. Back to my laundry. This is how I do the laundry. I will throw those scent beads in, whatever I'm using at the time, usually April Fresh or the Downy Comb, depending on the time of year and the season. And as you guys saw, I'm now mixing them. Um, and then I add my detergent and my fabric softener. I need to give my dryer a really good deep clean. It's getting super dusty and I feel like the lint trap just needs a good vacuuming and just a little bit of a wash. And I like to make sure that that is thoroughly dry before I put it back into the dryer itself. But just a little tip there that you can vacuum it out and then wash the actual screen and it will get rid of any smells that are in there or just like dirt and ickiness that's you know hanging around. So if you guys are new here, I would love if you considered subscribing. I just started this home channel this month in February and I've been loving it so far. I do have my personal channel as well, linked down below. And I've been doing YouTube for about two and a half years now and I've loved every single minute of it. Over on my personal channel, I shared like vlogs and mom content and my weight loss content. I am on a huge weight loss journey right now. I'm down 45 pounds and I've always struggled with my weight, especially after having kids and being able to make a breakthrough with my weight loss has just been incredible. So I share all of those things over on my personal channel, but I'd love to have you guys on one or all of our channels and I want to welcome you and thank you for tuning into my At Home with Morgan channel where I do all of the home things like home decor and cleaning and organization and blah, blah. You all the fun things, you know.
So I will be having a spring clean and decorate with me series launching on Monday where we're going to be getting into quite literally the nitty gritty of cleaning in the house. Those things that you should really check off your to-do list at least once a year. I will have a to-do list for you guys to reference to. And then we'll be talking about all of the spring decorating, which I've already hinted at. My version of spring decor is definitely plants and like lemons and limes and just all the really fun bright things. Um, I'm not super into the pastel colors for Easter, etc., but I do have a really fun Easter DIY that is a little bit more like muted tones that I'll be including in Monday's video. So stay tuned for that because that series launches on Monday and I do have an entire house clean with me going live next Thursday as well. So next week's videos, be sure that you're subscribed, stay tuned, turn those bell notifications on because they're gonna be good and they're going to be really, really detailed in regards to tips and tricks and all of the solutions that I use to keep my house clean for the most part. I am a mom, mom life, and I'm gonna be real with you guys, my house doesn't look like this all the time. It's usually a disaster. No matter how many times I clean the house, it just is a disaster. There's nothing I can do about it, but. Anyways, all right, you guys, that's gonna wrap it up from me for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this declutter and clean with me, and I will see you on Monday for the launch of my spring cleaning and decorating series. All right, bye, guys.